Hello all, um, my name is Victoria and I am one of your lab coordinator TAs who also coordinates some of the lecture things and this is a video that's going to outline part C for you of your first lab about graphing data, finding a trend line, and then how to correlate that data, not really how to correlate it, but to find the correlation coefficient that explains how your data is correlated and this is for your Mac. So first things first, I'm going to open up Excel, there it is, and when I see Excel here I can see that I have a bunch of columns. But for this one, I'm going to pick data that we already have. So I'm going to do the total calories per serving versus our serving size. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this first uh, box here and just drag that down. Oh, whoops. Undo. I don't want it to copy. I'm going to drag my mouse down. And then I'm going to hit Command. And then I'm going to drag my mouse down this column. Then I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to see a bunch of different icons, but the icon that I want is going to be in this charts section, specifically the scatter plot, which will show a bunch of dots. And I'm going to hit this down arrow that will show me a bunch of different kinds of scatter plots, and the one that I would like has no interconnecting lines. And I click on there. Then I'm going to hit command X real quick and cut the graph and hit on a new sheet, this plus sign, and hit con uh, command V. And when I command V, then I can expand this here, and voila, my graph is much bigger and easier to see. Um, I'm going to quickly give this a chart title so I remember what I'm doing, because you're going to be doing a lot of these graphs. So I'm going to do total calories, unit C, versus space, serving size. And again, they're in grams. Now, that's all I have here, and that doesn't really tell me anything. So I'm going to go to, or I'm going to click on my graph here, and go to chart design. And then of all these icons, I'm going to go to Quick Layout, because I don't really want to add each element step by step. You can, but I would prefer to um, add them all together so I see them. You're going to get 11 different layouts. Um, of the ones that are listed, I'm going to pick the one that has this FX in it, and that is because it's not only going to give me a trend line, like Layout 3, but it's also going to tell me what the equation of that line is. So I'm going to know the slope, the intercept, as well as the correlation coefficient. So I click on FX, and now you see I get my equation of my line, and my axis titles are empty, which is no good. So first things first, I'm going to get rid of this legend. We don't need that. And I'm going to click on my axis title, and based on the numbers below, so in case you ever do get confused, I'm going to uh, go back here and be like, okay, well that was up to about 400. And when I look at these two lines, well this has things up to 600, 850, 1100, all very large. So I know that that probably is this line here, or this axis, I should say. Um, and this axis is then going to be my serving size. Oops. Serving size, so you can see what I'm doing. And again, that's in grams. And then I know that this one, based on process of elimination, must be my total calories, again in C. And what's nice about this is now I have my trend line and it's defined. And if I want, I can even make it a bit bigger by clicking on that box and then going to the Home tab where then I can change the um, font as well as the size. And here I can now see the slope, the intercept, and the correlation coefficient. So hopefully that gives you a good overview and a good start to part C of your lab. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask your TA or one of your lab coordinators, myself or Casey. And with that, good luck.